again behind me we've got fog and we've got a little bit of rain falling out there right now really hard to see out of that uh, tower cam that we've got because of that temperature sitting at 60 degrees we've got a light breeze out of the east southeast at eight miles an hour too so not incredibly uncomfortable if you're Heading around outside, just know that you're going to get rained on shortly here. You can see the bulk of that rain. Omaha down through Lamoni, up through around the metro as well. And zooming in on it could have a couple thunderstorms on the southern edge of this thing. So again, if you do plan on going out for that afternoon run or perhaps a bike ride, uh, maybe get that umbrella hat. You might just need it out there. Otherwise, overcast skies through much of the state, all the way up into uh, the Great Lakes as we have got a pretty soggy stretch of, uh, of land here. 68 in the metro today, 77 for Kansas City. If you are traveling, if you go westward, we've got sunshine in Rapid City. Otherwise, the bulk of the Midwest is sitting in rainy and stormy conditions uh, for today and really for the next couple days. So breaking it down hour by hour for you here, we've got that brief hike up of the rain chances as we head into the next couple hours here. Temperatures back up into the mid to upper 60s. And you can see by the evening hours, more chances for showers and more chances for thunderstorms as the system continues to slowly make its way eastward. So by 6 p.m., still showers and thunderstorms up near Mason City. We've got that batch continuing from Omaha through Lamoni. Things become much more widely scattered as we head into the overnight hours and especially into Friday and Friday evening is when we could see some very heavy rainfall. You can see showers and thunderstorms working their way in from the west. This is at 5 p.m. They have raced their way eastward to around Oskaloosa or so. And that's going to continue to build as we've got kind of a stagnant boundary that's going to set up and continue to pummel uh, rain across the state. And this is all going to finally wrap up into the late morning to early afternoon hours on Saturday. But you look at the totals on Friday. This starting at 5 o'clock in the morning on Friday. And these things jump up. So these are all the different models we look at as meteorologists to kind of see what the forecast could be for that rain. And they've got us really anywhere from two-thirds of an inch to upwards of two inches. And you look on a statewide scale here, some of us Friday overnight into Saturday could be seeing upwards of four inches. This has got Des Moines sitting at four, four, for inch, four inches for Ames as well. This axis of heaviest rainfall has deviated a little bit south and a little bit north. So again, don't take this as uh, the absolute forecast down to the hundredth of an inch, but know that we are going to be absolutely waterlogged Friday into Saturday. So we do have more rain chances in the forecast and a little bit of a warm up. Now, as rain chances end Saturday, we get sunshine on Sunday, highs back in the upper 70s there with a spotty shower Monday evening and a cool down following that with highs in the low to mid 60s.